good afternoon YouTube welcome to my channel this is going to be a review video okay we're going to review two things today haha uh, I'm going to be using my scribbles that matter pro this is one of the older ones not one of the newer ones with the crappy paper I'm going to be showing you how to use a empty me medin or meden watercolor palette and I have some watercolor palettes from Eclectic Scribbles. Amanda, you've probably haven't mentioned her if you watch my videos, or you've maybe even seen her if you come into my lives. If you don't come into my lives, why not? Where have you been? So, I already have some of hers, and um, they're in this little tin that she did. Oh, they're here. This little tin that she did with my name on, which I've stuck magnets to the bottom of, which she sent, and now I'm like, hmm. I want to put all of the paints together, so I'm not quite sure how I'm going to get the magnets off. So I could stick them somewhere else. Then. So I'm going to see if I can get the magnets off, so that I can move them so they're all in the same palette. But I'll do that a bit later. So let's start by unwrapping them. Now, when they arrived, I stuck them in the fridge because transport can do funny things to to palettes. She stuck them down well. She's used quite strong foil which is nice so this is crap this is wisteria oh she's written it on the sides okay so this is what you get you get a little palette like this and it smell like honey and this is wisteria so I am gonna try and make some room <laughs> Uh, right, let's find a page. Yeah? No, I haven't finished. My son upstairs. I haven't finished yet. Right, I've put Eclectic Scribbles Palette 2. Um, Don't touch. So, I'm first this. one is Wisteria. Of course, typically, I need to fill my water pen, so I'll be right back. Okay. So, <laughs> oh my word. Me. I'm getting dings and all sorts. So, what you do is... What are you putting the rocket ship on now, that? Hang on, because I want to put the first slot in here first. So, I've got six of those. What are you putting the rocket ship on? Yeah, the six of those. One, two, three, four, what five, six. this YouTube rocket? So I'm going to put this one in place number seven. That is really quite tight. You've really got to push to get it in. I like the colour. I'm wondering actually if a little magnet might be enough to stop the damn things from moving. Let's have a look. Because I hate that my palettes move about. There wasn't um, magnets in my last one, unfortunately. Use a little tin of something else. Okay. Right, so let's do deep iris. There's something a bit cool about opening paints that you help to name. Because <laughs> she asked for um, ideas for names and I come up with suckling in my live chat. Now, this one's wrapped in the old gold foil, unless that was deliberate because this is gold nugget paint. Looks like it might, it was a bit messy, this one, Amanda. And yeah, this has been in the fridge and everything. Okay, my first opinion is the silver foil is easier to get off than the gold foil is. This has made a right mess. Oh, and I've left antique rose for last. Because I've been assured I'm going to love antique rose almost as much as I loved pudding. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at it. <laughs> so, I'm going to do that one last. So, next we're going to do deep iris. So, let's plonk it in. It's quite full, that one, which I love. I like that colour. That is my kind of purple. I'm just wondering actually whether I could just like 
shove more in here than they recommend. Okay, so I've managed to squish 13 along there. Okay, you saw me wedge them all in, which means they're not going to move. I hate that they move. Um, I put those ones in with their magnets. Um, they're standing only slightly taller than their um, non-magnetised counterparts. Now, the first one, two, three, four, five, six, up to this brownie colour here, are from the first palette. So I will show you the first palette that I received. That was that lot. Um... <laughs> Amanda thinks I hate pudding. I've actually used pudding quite a lot. Okay, it does get used quite a lot. I liked the first palette. It was lovely. This is the second palette. Okay. Um, the colours aren't as bold, yeah, as the first palette. I wish I had it on. Like... The colours aren't as almost solid, I suppose. They're a bit more more watercolory. Um, love the Wisteria and the Deep Iris, they're fantastic. Succulent's actually really, really nice. The Forget Me Not is a little bit washy for my personal preference, but I will use it because it is a fab colour. The yellow, again, like the other yellow, is solid. I mean, that brilliant yellow was, that. that is just wow, that one. It is really, really, really brilliant. Buttercup is a little bit... Please, Buttercup is a little bit more muted, but it's still such a lovely colour. The Gold Nugget doesn't show too well on the paper, but it is actually really, really nice. It's I have colours. thank you. I have a gold palette. No, I'm just going to put this away. Yep. I have a gold palette, as most of you know, which is Starry Colours by um, Kurataki, and. This isn't like any of those, which I'm really, really pleased about because I was really worried when I saw that she was doing a gold nugget that I was going to basically end up... Daryl, could you be quiet, please? That I was going to end up with another gold. That one is... It's a different shade. It's slightly lighter. There's it, it sparkles differently than what these do. So it will get used. And because it's actually small enough to fit in that palette, it'll probably get used quite a lot. Antique Rose. You're finished. I like it. <laughs> she thought I was going to fucking hate it. She really did. She she has been saying for the past couple of weeks, "Oh, you know, you're gonna you're gonna love this as much as you love um, put it." Because I was a bit mm, when I, I when I unwrapped pudding, I was expecting a, a chocolate brown when I unwrapped pudding. And Amanda's convinced that I absolutely hate it. I don't, and I've done, <laughs> I have said this in a couple of my videos, but I don't think she watches them all. That's um, day. That is actually quite nice, and I can see me using that to um, age paper. I think that would what that would be really good for if I want to go for something with like an old look. I can see that antique rose actually coming in quite useful. So. That's it for I actually quite like all of those. Yeah. You that's thought I'd hate them all, didn't you? <laughs> that's it for the day. No, they're nice. I like them. Lovely. I um that's I will be honest, good. this is my last palette from Amanda, simply because I just cannot afford to shell out that much on paints each month. Yeah, it's gonna be my last palette from Amanda, simply because the cost of the paint and the shipping to me is quite a lot of money and it means I can't buy other things. So I've sort of struggled the last couple of months to be able to buy other things to use as my personal art experience grows. So something had to give and unfortunately it was these palettes by Amanda. I do plan though next month trying out some of the Sprout Collective paints as well and I know that um, there's things happening there as well. Um, I would love her VRP box, but I think I checked out that price and that also is unfortunately a little bit more than I can afford Which is a damn shame uh, It's just the postage to the UK is outrageous So I need to find a paint miller here in the UK that makes nice nice paints like that But I want the um, The Galaxy series from the Sprout Collective, so I'm going to be ordering those to chuck in that palette as well That's it for today That's it for today Yes, you right. happy now you've said it? Yes, okay then. And we, bye, we like comments. We do like comments, so please do leave us a comment. What else do we like? Put your thumbs up and click that bell. Yeah, click, well, you've got to click the book first and you'll be subscribed. And if you click the bell, YouTube will in. Side. No, it's not, it's that side. 
it's about there. YouTube willing, you'll be notified when I upload new content. Thank you so, so much for watching. I apologise for the gabbling over me, but as it says in my description, my son joins me for a lot of my videos. Thank you very much for your time. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Bye.